What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get the series review started. y'all the wheel of time is now on amazon prime video the new series is it's dropped its first three episodes today out of eight episode series the series is based off the robert jordan novels and it brings you into a world of fantasy and intrigue well before we get started on the review let me tell you a little bit about what it's about so the main character moraine who's played by rosamund pike is a member of a magical organization takes five young people on a journey, believing that one of them might be the reincarnation of the dragon, a powerful individual prophesied to save the world or destroy so it. So before we get this review started, I want to start off by saying, number one, I have not read the novels. I have not read the, the Wheel of Time novels, so this review is based on someone not privy to all the information given in the novels. And secondly, I have only seen six episodes of the series. But as a newcomer to this new world, this new series, you know, I could say the series lacks a lot of the clarity of the events and characters. I just felt thrown into the world. And after, you know, I was given a, a kind of a vague opening monologue, and the result is that audiences, I'm telling you, may find themselves confused and overwhelmed trying to compete co to complete the story and leave them disinterested in the long list of characters they meet. Let's talk about some positives because if you have watched even the Wheel of Time trailer, you would have seen that it was such a gorgeous series to watch. You know, it was filmed in the Czech Republic and includes gorgeous landscapes with stunning shots of forest and rivers, lakes and pastures. It really brings the fantasy world to life. Now, why the scenery is uh, really a delight to watch, one cannot say the same about the CGI effects, which look cheap and at times unrealistic. It's a shame that the visual effects were not up to par because everything else from the set designs to the costuming, it all looks very detailed and very authentic. I'll tell you where the Wheel of Time excels is in the casting choices, particularly Rosamund Pike, Daniel Henney, Zoe Robbins, and Madeline Madden. Pike, who you know you may recognize from roles like Gone Girl and I Care A Lot, has a striking presence on screen and shines, even when she's paired with her co-star Henny. And those two have great chemistry together and brought so much of the humor and tense moments to life. Now the women on this show are the primary possessors of this light power. Therefore, many of the female roles need a strong female presence, and I can tell you Robbins and Madden bring depth and vigor to their characters. The Wheel of Time is such an engaging story that could easily entice audiences into a fantasy world of po the power of light, but it struggles as it tries to just fit too much in at once. It would have been much more befitting of the story if they took like the long haul approach and slowly ease viewers into the fantasy world and all that it has to offer. This isn't to suggest that one should write the series off completely. I mean, the story is intriguing, and after six episodes in the season one, I'm totally invested in the outcome. It just took way too long to get there. Fans of the books, they may be fine with how the series is presented, as they would already be familiar with the characters and events going on. However, those who have not read the books and are new to this new world, you know, they may want to watch it more than once to really, truly understand everything that's un unloaded on the viewer. Now let's talk about everything the parents need to know before they let their kids watch the Wheel of Time series. As far as language, I mean, you're going to get some profanity and use of uh, profane words in this, mostly being the word, the S word. You get the A word, even like a, not the B word. I'm you think about the bastards and, and such words like there that. There is some nudity in this. There's some nudity. You see some uh, individuals naked. A lot of the nude shots are kind of covered up. Maybe some are in the tub and covered by, you know, bubbles or water. Get some side footage. But there are some bare butts that have been seen, like full-on shots. The biggest warning in this is the violent content. I mean, they have like 
these mystical creatures that are dark and attack and they're scary and you may jump at times and it gets gory because you know they they attack people and eat you know you see some animals eating like human intestines it gets gross it does get gross so that's one of the things you have to look out for and of course there's like fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat there's sword fighting definitely you see some throat slash and even swords like stuck in the throat so there's gory scenes you don't want to watch there's even a scene like a woman being burned alive so violence is the biggest thing i would be concerned for here to let your kids watch this but series. overall i enjoyed the series i did you know fans are i think are really going to be attracted to this that are already fans of the novel as they won't really be confused like newcomers to the world will be confused in what's going on and the characters and who's who. You can get lost in those details very early on. But once you start catching on to everything, you really get just brought into this fantasy world, especially by the views. I mean, it's easily to immerse yourself into this world. I enjoy it. I can't wait to see the last two episodes <laughs> of this new series. Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that down below. Until next time. Mwah.